Hey guys, welcome to the Gods Unchained beta with the Professor. All right, it's time for our Monday Mythic Meta for the Ranked Weekend event that ran on March 19th, 20th, and 21st. Let's take a look at the results. All right, so looking at our top weekend ranked results, we can see that two players had a perfect weekend, 25 out of 25, amazing. We can also see how competitive it is with 23 wins needed to secure a spot in the top 10 and several players with 22 wins not making the cut into the top 10. We had many other players with 20 to 21 wins that was just outside of the top 20. In our top 20, we can see that Nature and Light were the popular decks with a total of 12 players. So six players each played Light and Nature. Death was the second most popular with four players each. Followed by Magic, three players in the top 20 playing Magic decks. We had one player in the top 20 that played War, and there was no players in the top 20 that played Deception. So our two 25 win players played a Light and a Nature deck. The best Magic deck had 23 wins, followed by the best War and best Death deck at 22 wins each. None of our players in the top 20 ran a Deception deck, and I didn't find any Deception decks that finished with at least 20 wins. Of the top 10, Light had the best representation, taking 1st, 3rd, 4th, 6th, and 7th. That's right, 5 out of the top 10 decks were Light decks, followed by Nature, which took 2nd, 8th, and 9th. Magic had one deck in the top 10 at 5th place, and War also had one deck in the top 10 right at 10th place. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at our top decks. Our first 25 wins deck is Light. This Light deck is the typical mid-range deck that plays really aggressive. It follows the usual build, which has the Blind Martyrs, the Ritual Rod, Olympian Guards, Light's Levy, and the other usual cards. However, a couple different cards to point out is this one has Reformation, which can debuff a creature down to one attack. Patron Sacrament, which can give your creatures frontline and protected to allow for efficient trading. And Hallowing Light, another debuff that sets an opponent's creature down to 2 health. The other 25 wins deck was a Nature deck, which followed the Big Beast mid-range build. This one aims to fight for the board early on with Underbrush Boar, Skeleton Heavy, Vanguard Axelman, supplemented with Feyfame Blade. Feyfame Blade is a strong weapon to fight for early control of the board. Following that up, we have an Agrador Protector, a strong Genesis Frontline card. That's then followed by big stat creatures like Overgrown Rhino, Avatar of Nature, Veilwarden Minotaur. This deck looks to end matches around turn 7, and we have the Black Rhino with its great stats along with Ashen Drake. The Magic deck with 23 wins is Control Ramp Magic. This deck has the early removals along with the early ramp, followed by mid-game removal with Astric Implosion, Cersei, and Inferno and Magic Unburdened. And then you have a strong late game package with Demogorgons, Tiet, Echophon, Frey, and Avatar of Magic. As a side note, this deck is an updated version of our first ever 25 win deck from a couple weeks ago. The best war deck finished with 22 wins. This war deck takes advantage of the Slayer God Power with Enduring Shield, Blade of Sticks, and the Ares Rune Blade. There's only a few key spells in the build with Reckoning, Avalanche Strike, and Carnage Sweep. And these spells get recycled by Echo Caster for maximum value. One thing to note about this deck is this deck is 100% core and welcome cards. Truly, this deck is mostly core cards with a couple welcome cards like the Vanguard Axewoman and Echo Caster. So this is an excellent free-to-play deck that managed 22 wins an amazing 88% win rate out of 25 games. Typically, we've seen the Slayer God Power in aggro builds, but this one extends it out to a mid-range build with the late game finisher of Ares Runeblade. The best death deck had 22 wins, and this one's the board wipe death deck. This deck has ramp with the Fanatic of Kanum, Ruined Asp, and Half-Life to bring those creatures back. Then there's plenty of board clears with Dust to Dust, Reap, Neferu, Apocalypse Now, and an End Times and a strong endgame with Demogorgon, Tiet, and Echophon. And also Race Dead to bring back your big creatures one more time. 
Also worth mentioning was that there was other death decks that finished with 21 wins, and those were of the zoo aggressive variants. As I mentioned earlier, I did not find any deception decks with at least 20 wins. Taking a quick look at the meta from GU decks. So one thing to note here is I maintained the user rank to cover the gold to mythic range. And the reason for this is that when a mythic player queues up, the range of players they match up with goes all the way down to gold. So to get an accurate view of the mythic meta, we want to make sure we include the ranks that the mythic player faces. So as we can see, nature ran wild this weekend with a positive win rate against almost every single god, 50% basically a coin flip against death, overall 51% win rate. Death also had a strong showing, and this is a combination of the board wipe and the zoo versions. Despite the nerf to blast wave, magic still posting decent win rates against three out of the five gods. Another thing to talk about is we had so many players playing nature this past weekend, almost 40% of players were using a nature deck. And a special announcement, this past ranked weekend event was the last weekend where players could earn Trial of the Gods Pact from the weekend event. Basically, the Trial of the Gods expansion set is close to selling out. And so what that means is that starting next weekend ranked, the prizes will now be the next expansion set. The next expansion set is still yet unannounced and there's no name that's been shared. But the prizes for the next weekend that we accumulate will be the next expansion set. So basically, moving forward, we will earn packs from the upcoming expansion set, which will be distributed when the set is released. So what that means is that this coming ranked weekend and going forward, expect the competition to heat up. There will be a lot of interest from our players to earn cards from the next expansion set. And what that means is everybody will be competing for the top spots for the next weekend. So congratulations to our top players. And again, for our two players that had a 25 out of 25 weekend, Expect next weekend to be very competitive since we can start earning packs for the next expansion set. In the meantime, congratulations to everyone again and good luck on your packs.